so excited for you to check this place out. I think you're going to like it. It's made for people just like you, Ab. How cool is that? They have all the things you like. Yeah. Do you want to try a coffee drink? I bet a coffee drink would be good, huh? Do you want a coffee drink? Yeah. What is that crispy thing? Uh, like a rice Peanut butter chocolate? It's like a rice crispy drink? Yeah. I might like that. Here you go. You want to take that up there? There we go. Look. They have a whole sensory area. Come here, come check it out real quick. See this? What do you think of this couch? Do you like the couch? Or we can sit outside. All right, look, we, look, we can go out those doors right there and go outside. Come on this way. Excuse me. Let's go outside. You wanna sit here? Look, we can sit there at the tables too. Here, come out here, come here. Come check these out. You wanna sit right here? That's a winner, huh? Look at that. Okay, I'm just exploring. This is the spot, huh? This is where you chose? Yep, this is what we chose. Okay. Is it a good treat? It looked good. It's like a rice crispy situation. Yeah. Careful, it's, it's open in the top, okay? Don't tilt it. There you go. Did you get real coffee this time? She did. Wow. Oh, wow. Crispy King treats. Everyone deserves to be treated like royalty, so let's start treating. 1% on mission to lower the unemployment rate for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Not cool. Um, also, Very cool. Something I didn't realize last time, they have a bathroom with an adult size changing table. Oh, they do? They do. I didn't know that. Yep. She's, She's comfortable. Yeah. Might, be, might get too comfortable. Just, you know. She can explore and stuff all she wants. The problem is like, you know, there is like prepackaged pre food out. So she would snag it 100%. <laughs> She's trying to close the door. Oh, you're so cute. She's trying to close the automatic door. She's like, this is open. I need it closed. We want you to explore and be comfy, but we also had to be careful of the other Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Good job cleaning up after yourself. I'm so proud of you. I love it. You're chilling. I think that she will be able to work her way inside pretty soon. Of course, she's comfy. Want to go check out the couch? We looked at it brief briefly. We checked out the couch, but she was still a little nervous inside. But I think she'll get used to it. Yeah. We'll get there for sure. We'll try it again before we leave, huh? Does that sound good? Thumbs mm -hmm. up. Thumbs up. Ab, stop. Hey. We tried, I don't know. We tried once more on the bean bags, but we weren't doing it. That's okay. She uh, she got uncomfortable with bean bags. I think it's like, doesn't have the rigidity of a chair or couch. Yeah. So she got uncomfortable with them, but we had her. It's like, okay, just touch them. So she, she, she put her foot on it. She like stepped on it. Like you can lift one leg off the ground that high because those are big, big bean bags here. What's up? Where are you going now? You're so busy. <laughs> she, she walked in the first time, tried to go find a counter. Yeah. Hey, are you smiling at that boy? Oh, Abigail. I think like he's a hard worker. I think she was so she got all hyped when he walked up too. Are you smiling? At the, I don't, I'm sorry. I won't shame you. I can't shame her on it. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. In all in all seriousness, no. I, I think just like, do you just know your people? Uh -huh. I feel like she does. You know. You just know your people. Like, he brought your coffee over. Working hard. Yeah. Over here enjoying their 
you know, if you think about it, like, where does she have the most fun? Like, can't buy him special, right? At school. Yeah. So she's going to get excited to see her people. Your peers, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You are so chill here. I love it. I know. We'll make one more lap inside before we leave. Okay? They're getting ready to close. Yeah. Let's do one more walkthrough before we head out, okay? Come on, let's do a full lap, okay? Where? Look at Look over here. Can I show you over here? This is where they do like the announcements. This is where they have the crazy ceilings. <laughs> this is where they have the crazy ceilings. This is where they have the crazy ceilings. So we could just sit outside all the time, yeah. right? Just like not have to deal with spaces, but we'd rather her experience things. And also sometimes the weather sucks and you don't want to not go somewhere just because the weather's not good. Look, they have, have a meeting room. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. cool? Yeah. Nice walking through though. Yeah. The bathroom's over there. Trash right there. Perfect. Check out this little room. This room which is by the window. So you might oh, that might be a good couch for you. Still ceilings though, I know. You'll get used to it, don't worry. Or maybe never, and that's okay too. But you know, we'll try it. Let's go touch the bean bags one more time. Yeah. Go ahead. Touch them, check them out. Nothing to be afraid of. Go ahead, here, touch them. Go ahead, with the foot, okay. Here, you can just do it that's with fine. your hand. Yeah, do it with your hand, do it like this. Look. Look, you want mom to sit down? Look. Look at this. Come sit right here by me. Five, two, four, Aww. three, <laughs> two, one. Yeah. So now look like I knew you could do it. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, you're going to sit there now? You just a beanbag girl? All of a sudden. Look at you. Look at you. So proud. Look at smile. Right, and you were smiling. It's crazy. Yeah, we're going to go. Come on. Let's head home. There's a nice little visit. Dad's getting... Shut up, all right? Why are you going to call me out every time I get a little emotional? I didn't like, know I, what you were doing. I wanted this place to be like a, you know, a place for her. And it is. It like, is. it already is. She's... Yep. Look at her. She's just loving it. She's yep. loving it here. She wants to explore the place. She's walking in and out of the door on her own. She sat on a beanbag chair. <laughs> I know it's a dumb thing to most people, but... She hasn't done that in probably five years, I would say. I, it's a beanbag chair. Who cares if you ever, never, ever again sit on a beanbag chair? But still, she was able to do when it. you can't do it, and then all of a sudden you can, that's pretty cool. She drank all of her coffee. Now she's trying to drink mom's. I mean, it's great. Look at that <laughs> smile. Look at you smiling. Proud of you, kiddo. I am so proud. What a great experience. Good idea, Mom. Thanks. We don't always come together to get her. Yeah. So, not that we couldn't do it by ourselves, that I couldn't or you couldn't. Well, I would love to be part of it. Right. Because Priscilla always picks her up. I think we should do this once a week. Yeah. Come up here. Yep. Get a coffee. Hang out. Are what day What day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday? It should be our Tuesday thing. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Get your um, cup and put it in the trash, okay? Come on. The fall is coming, I can feel it The breeze brings goosebumps to my skin I think that the extinction of places, like the places that she enjoyed going or would go, you know, has, we've lost those places quicker than we've gained new places to go to. Yeah. Because of sensory issues and stuff. So that's why it's, it means so much to us. And we just dream because we're parents, you know, and we dream for our kids. We dream for her just like we do for Isaiah. Yeah. You know, for Isaiah it might be different. Like we dream of his, you know, his, uh, his dream job. You know, what his future is going to look like and stuff like that, like in the professional world and, 
and with her like we we dream of her having a place where she can go where she's accepted where she's comfortable and where she's part of the community so well and that's what i said before is i love this specific coffee shop because it doesn't only have the employees in mind it has the guests in mind right which are such that's a huge that's what we needed in our community for sure specifically yeah you know somewhere for an older person with a diagnosis to be able to go and just hang out yeah i think the other places are and not anything against them but like the other places we've seen like that they are geared more like it's a job. like neurodiverse like, people serving neurotype neurotypical people coffee it's yeah. kind of what it is right right in this case it is people serving their peers yeah which is, such is cool. A cool aspect and they're non peers but they're peers it's so cool oh i'm so happy yeah I, I love it. All right, Tuesdays is our thing. That's what we're going to do. So something I noticed and on their... And their coffee's good. It's so good. <laughs> and they're... Um, so I noticed on their Instagram page that they have a new employee there today. He was there while we were there. And they're from the Down Syndrome Association here in Jacksonville. Uh -huh. And they have a job program. Oh, and so neat. he has his own... I don't know if she'll always be with him. Right. But that was like his person to help him throughout the day. Gotcha. Such a cool, you know, they work with different job places in the area. Right. So, like, yeah, that's really cool. Almost like a job coach or like yep. a, yeah, like a one-to-one -one for your vocational yeah. setting. They also have like tic-tac-toe and like board games and stuff in there. Like I could totally see it just hanging out, you know, yeah. for a while when she gets used to it. Hey, doggos. Oh my goodness. You're so mouthy. Let's check on the chicks. Looking like chicks. Looking like chicks. Hello chicks. Gosh, you guys are messy, man. I just changed your bedding, AKA paper towels yesterday. Yeah, it's been less than 24 hours. Hi. You're not so small anymore, huh? Still too small for the big coop. They will get bullied if I put them in the big coop. So. Yeah, we're down to two. So we started with four, now we have two. It happens. They do not uh, survive just regular life very well, oftentimes. Yeah. It's quite common. Hey, hey, good job. High five. High five. Do you want that? Can I get a high five? Comfy clothes and everything. The the squirt was super cute, but it's not as comfy as comfy shorts. She put her back, she did her whole, like Priscilla and I were chatting, we weren't even paying attention. Just ignored her. She did her whole routine on her own. With zero prompting. That was impressive. Look at look at the cat. Our cat or the or our new cat? Oh that cat. Look at her. Hey, how you doing? We have a new cat too, you guys wanna see it? It is. This is a neighborhood cat, one of the strays. <laughs> oh my gosh, if we open this door right now. Oh, I know. You want a new friend? Mm -hmm. Maverick. He's very skittish. Why do you chase neighborhood cats, but you don't chase your cat? I don't understand that, Maverick. Explain that one to me. Are you are you waiting for steak scraps? Is that what you want? Huh? Oh my goodness! We're so excited. Okay, we can do it. All right, let's. You gotta go downstairs. Go ahead, Maverick. Go downstairs so you can get your steak. Go ahead. Don't frown at me. You gotta take a shower. Go upstairs. We're going upstairs. Mm -hmm. I know. Come on. Good night. Mm -hmm. No, we're going upstairs. Mm -hmm. We're going upstairs mm -hmm. to go to the bathroom. That's, That's what enough. we're doing upstairs. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Off, uh, no, ma'am. Good night. I love you. 
<laughs> the struggle. Oh. So we kind of have to try for bed, even when we don't want to go to bed. Or even if we don't feel like we're that tired enough for bed, like we have to try because there's just too many nights that are not great sleeping nights. So, you know, try to compensate for it where we can so she gets plenty of sleep. Sleep's important. It's a very hypocritical thing for me to say. I don't get enough sleep, but, you know. We, we want better for our kids, right? See you guys tomorrow. Bye.